Number 15. How much and in what direction will each of the following affect the rate of the reaction? They give us a balanced equation. So we have CO gas plus NO2 gas yields CO2 gas plus NO gas. And if the rate law for the reaction is rate equals K times the concentration of NO2 squared. So as soon as they give me a rate law, um, that's probably the most important piece of information, especially if they give it to, to you as a, a, you know, in the question. So I'm going to write that down. So for this specific equation, the rate law is rate equals K. That's the rate constant times the concentration of NO2 raised to the second. So the order the exponent of the NO2 is raised to the second. So in regards to NO2, this is a second order reaction. Now, if they give you a rate law, this trumps any other piece of information, even a balanced equation. A balanced equation versus a rate law with calculations, you will always abide by what the rate law says. Now in this specific example, they're saying that we're increasing the concentration of carbon monoxide, CO, from 0 0.01 molarity to 0 0.03 molarity. What's going to happen to that rate if we increase the carbon monoxide concentration? Well, I do see carbon monoxide in the balanced equation, but if I'm looking at the rate law, do I see... CO anywhere in this rate law? No, I don't see it, right? I see it in the balance equation. It's obviously here, but it's not in the rate law. Remember, the rate law is much more important than your balanced equation. In order to get a rate law, you have to do trials and experiments. And sometimes, like in this case, the rate law doesn't have to necessarily be the same as the balance equation, and that's okay. And sometimes they'll give that to you because they want to make sure that you know how to use your rate laws. So the first thing that I'm going to mark down is that, you know, the concentration of CO or CO in general is not in the rate law. And the rate law says that if you want to change that concentration or if you want to change that rate of reaction, you're either going to have to change the rate constant or the concentration of the NO2, right? The brackets means concentration. But I can't change the rate of reaction with the CO because the CO is not in the rate law. So if it is not in the rate law, that means that the rate is unaffected. Unaffected. Okay, so if a rate is unaffected, right? Does that mean that the rate is going to change? No. Unaffected. Unaffected means no change. So anytime that they're changing, you know, concentrations of reactants that are not in the rate law, I don't care. No change. So rate will not change. And that is the answer for this one. Uh, so how much will the rate change? It won't change at all. So that's it. <laughs> I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. My brother and I, we thank you so very much. And you guys rock. Thank you for making the channel what it is and for watching the videos and learning from these. Um, good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.